3 p.m. Sunless. Winter sleeping in the womb of the afternoon. Wondering how to say this. To reason or scream or cry or whisper or write on the walls. Reduced again. Cut at the knees, hands chopped, eyes blind, mouth stopped, voices lost. Fear, anger, contempt. Thin filaments of ice and fire wire the bodies. Moan of hers, of his, the young and the old. And a grenade explodes in the sunless afternoon and the words run down like frothy white spit down her bent head, down the serene parting of her dark hair as she stands too visible. From home to bus stop to home, raucous hyena laughter. Packy, go home. The moon covers her face, pockmarked and anxious in the withered fingers of the winter trees. The light of her sadness runs like tears down the concrete hills, tarmac rivers, and the gullies of the cities. The wind still carries the secret chuckle. The rustle of canes is black, Brown bodies flee into the night, blanched by the salt waters of the moon. Strange dark fruits on tropical trees swing in the breeze gently. Now and then again we must organize. The woman wiping the slur spit from her face the child standing at the edge of the playground, silent, stopped, the man twisted in despair, disabled at the gates. Even the child in the womb must find a voice, sound in unison, organize like a song, like a roar, like a prophecy that changes the world to organize to fight the slaver's dogs, to find the hand, the foot, the tongue, the body, dismembered, organ by organ, rejoined, organized. Soul breathed in until she, he, the young, the old is whole. Until the hand acts moved by the mind and the walls, the prisons, the chains of lead or gold tear, crumble, wither into dust and the dead, bury the dead. Until yesterday's never return.